so hello everyone uh, am i audible so currently our today's time it's changed so that's why the webinar is started late so if you have your friends then let them know that uh, we should or they should join the webinar we will start when they join it depends on count if count is great today then we will start otherwise we will uh, reschedule tomorrow okay so hello everyone now uh, am i audible please let me know in the chat window Okay, so we will start now. Uh, just me, just let me share my screen. Okay, so I will open under studio. Okay, so in uh, last session, we, we see that uh, how to create uh, the register page as well as login page. Okay. And then we saw like uh, how we can connect it to with database. So now our next step is to create uh, the registration 
with the help of database okay so currently we just used the authentication function with the help of uh, firebase so currently we will uh, store the data inside the database also okay so now what we do we will do we will do this uh, copy this field okay paste it two times okay one is for name and one is for number we will change it as name name then input type is text then here number number and then input type input type input type will be number okay so we will create their instances like name comma number we will do the same thing name equals to and view by id dot id dot name then we will do what you can say number is equals to find view by id r dot id dot number okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna check whether these fields are also empty or not so for that we will same code like we can just copy and paste we will change name and number okay so basically it help us to check whether the name text field and number text field is empty or not so currently uh, it is okay but now to set up your firebase just uh, open your firebase console that is firebase.google.com go to console then click on your project then now what we're gonna do we already added our uh, what you can say the authentication part right so now we have to add real-time database so click on it then uh, just simply click on create database so and then it will ask the database option so oh, let it be the that is to be a central one great nice then uh, you can start in test mode also and you can start in locked mode so we will change the rule later but initially there are two options so uh, you can do anything so we are starting with locked mode okay so we enabled our real-time database to our project okay so as you can see here our data will be appearing so firstly you need to go to rules so where i am uh, in my project inside real-time database inside rule just change this false to be true so it will accept the values and uh, able to retrieve the values okay so after doing it true let's publish it shows the warning but you can ignore the warning and our uh, rules are published okay so you can go to data so here in firebase the data is stored in the format of a json or a tree okay so basically we like uh, other databases stores their data into table structure but firebase uses json so that is nothing but tree structure so main node inside their sub node so how this data is stored let's check okay so for that before uh, use our uh, firebase assistance okay click on uh, search then type firebase then it will load our assistance okay so then uh, real time database get started with real time database and then connect okay already connected just close it cancel it okay so we are already connected then add dependencies so these dependencies will be added to our project it will take few minutes so rather than uh, uh, finding which uh, which is the current uh, dependency version uh, how we can write it just simply use the firebase assistance it will be easy for you okay so uh, if you want to type it manually so you have to find the actual current version so it will work on your project so let's check 
So as you can see, Firebase database here is a new dependency. In our last session, we added authentication. So as you can see, uh, after that, the database is also added. So you can add this uh, line manually also. This will uh, help us to connect to our real-time database, right? So, but uh, with the help of assistant, it is that easy. So just close this file and go to our register page. Then here you can see uh, like we need to create the database object. So we type database reference. So like now, like Firebase authentication, we use the Firebase auth and its variable name. So to locate to our particular database, we need a database reference. Okay. So we name it as database reference. Then also same like authentication, we need to initialize it first. Okay. So basically what we do, then uh, Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference. So what it will do, it will help us to reach to this particular node. Okay, so here our database is stored at this URL. So our uh, this line will help us to redirect to this. And then what we want to do, we can add these different things. Okay, so now uh, what I am going to do, if the authentication or the uh, user creation is successful, then only we have to create our new user uh, or store our data into database so if the task is successful then what i will do i will just simply do uh firstly i will create a map or you can say hash map to store all the different fields okay so hash map equal to map sorry map equal to new hash map so basically what is thing uh, like it is a simple structure like array, but rather than having only one value, it stores the values in the format of key value. So basically first string will represent uh, what is the value for and the second one represents the actual value. Okay, so store data, uh, to store data inside a map, we need a method that is map.put. Okay, so then we will pass our string as name and the value will be name dot get text dot to string okay so we will do this for all the three fields email sorry map dot put and inside it email then comma email dot get text dot to string okay then map dot Put then uh, what we can say number comma number and password. So uh, uh, this fields we want so we created a map or we can in simple words you can say the array for uh, okay uh, so to pass the database like we can pass one by one but with the help of this thing like map we can just pass data at once so how we can implement it so database reference dot so here you can see uh, if you want a new node then you can uh, reference it with the help of child Okay, so basically child is like, now suppose com.project.projectt is a, our main parent. Main activity and register are their child, right? So in that way, if I have a path of Java, then I am going to this uh, com.project.projectt and then I am referencing to main activity like that. So currently database reference is referencing to our main URL. And now we will create one, uh, like what you can say, uh, child that is users and then dot again we will create a child so basically what we will do we will uh, store our reference in our uh, like a uh, generate or we will generate a random key that is to be stored inside our user okay or else we can do we can simply like use the 
push method with the help of our map it's actually this will not work okay so we will create one string here string key equals to uh what we can do okay database reference dot child users dot push dot get key. okay so get key and this push method will give us a random key uh that specific random key will denote a specific user so that's why we need the different uh keys okay so for that we will add it as a child e then uh, update children and our map okay so to check whether this task is completed or not we can just simply use uh, add on complete listener new on complete listener okay so then if task is successful then we will display this uh, toast message okay just simply okay user created successfully so in this way you can create your our user and store it inside our database so here let's test it works or not okay so currently i think we have two users already present in our uh this file right so we will delete them first so it will not conflict our any issue so this uh this is the firstly okay i think my screen is visible now just let me know okay so here is our uh, application it will take some time to run uh yeah it is installing now okay now our application is running so when we click on the new user you as you can see there are different fields right so i will type my name that is ajinkya mobile number one two three four five six then email to be at the rate gmail.com this is not my actual mail i'm just typing for reference okay then we will click on register user created successfully let's check it is created or not okay so here our user is present in authentication part so let's check it our in database as you can see this is our main reference inside that reference we created a, another part that is users when we open it here is the random key for particular user and as you can see here is the information of user okay so what what is the issue if we do not pass this id if we do not pass this id it will uh, only consider one user and it will update their information when you create on the register itself okay so when you click on the register it will automatically uh, update this uh, details if you don't use the random id right because there is only one child but now if i create a new user let's suppose i will create a new user that is abc uh, then abc and register okay user created successfully as you can see the new user is added after so that's why we are using the random id okay you can do one thing you can just store this id inside this format also so with the help of that reference particular you can get the data of the particular user also okay so uh, this is nothing but what you can say uh, storing our data into firebase so currently we used it as a user data storage right you can do anything now suppose you want to store a table which has the different list of products so you can uh, store this product list with the help of this uh, random ids and inside that 
particular product name product description and price and etc things so how you will create these things so with the help of this simple code so you will create a map so with the help of database reference then you will provide the child where you want to store the data and then you will update children uh, there is a simple method and pass our map okay so in that way we will create the different users okay so for this uh, anyone having any issues regarding it you can ask uh, or else i will continue okay i think uh, no issues so far we will continue so yeah mm, okay great so basically another thing is what we can do now we will uh, like use our uh, login page to successful login and if the login is successful then we will go to our home screen and display a particular user details okay so for that we will create a new activity so empty activity name to be home page finish add okay so we created our home page so on the home page we will display all our information for that we need to create our layout first okay orientation vertical then uh, we will create simple text view and wrap content text size 20 sp text style bold then id to be as name we just add margin over here Mar okay we will just simply copy this two times and then email and then number Okay, then we will set uh, that to be. Okay, so we will add margin for all of them. Okay, we created three text views. We will just create the reference text view name, email, and number. For this, we will use same and we have id r dot id dot then email then for number okay so now uh, to get the data we need to also create the database reference right okay so database reference database reference and also we need to do database reference dot child uh, sorry database reference equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference then we will do database reference child users okay so there are different methods to traverse between the different users okay or different data so here there is a method that is add a value event listener okay so we will click on that and we will add it is a new value event listener so it will generate automatically two different methods on data change and on data cancel okay so on data change will work 
when you have uh, a data or uh, data is present and when the data is cancelled this will execute it so currently we uh, only work on on data change because there is already data present right okay so what we gonna do so here you can see uh, we want to users now right so how we can identify which user is currently logged in or logged out to get their particular data so we have two users so with the help of their particular login only particular their information should be displayed right so for that we need to create a firebase our uh, reference or firebase authentication so it will help to get the current user email address equals to firebase auth dot get instance okay then we can so until users we gone okay so inside users there are multiple values so we will use a loop to traverse between all values okay so we will create for like uh, data snapshot ds is equal to colon snapshot dot get children so snapshot is the variable provided by this method and we created a new variable that is data snapshot or ds for our referencing like a uh, normal loop we use i for our uh, overall reference so here ds is our i okay so we will check uh, ds dot child okay what is email dot get value here we will pass as string dot class then we will check equals or dot get current user dot get email okay what is this total thing ds means uh, this our uh, reference variable for loop then it will travels to email so it will travel to this part okay inside user we created loop so it will check each and every user's email okay so uh, so with the help of get value we are getting this value this value okay and uh, string dot class because it is a string type of value okay then we will check with equals so equals usually to compare two strings so this is one string and this is one string so auth is the our uh, current user reference so with the help of this auth dot get current user so it will return the user currently logged in our application and then we will check the email is same or not if the email is same then what we will do we will just simply add name dot set text then we will use this thing same okay, rather than email here we type name we will copy this statement two times for uh, email and number also email here email here number to make sure uh, when you are writing uh, inside this part so this is uh, same as stored in our database so email name and number like this okay so inside our double quote it should be same like our database storage part okay so here you can see oh, our new page is ready but how to check whether the login is successful or not right so we created our uh, login successful inside our main activity that is login page okay so you can see here login successful message displayed so when login is successful then we will directly traverse through the home page so with the help of our same code that is intent we will just go to home page class right let's check if it works or not so if currently the successful user is logged in uh, when we click on the login button and uh, then it will display all his information so ajinka at the rate gmail.com password is one two three four five six okay so let's check so login success it uh, goes to our home page and displays our data like ajinkya ajinkya at the gmail.com and our 
whole data okay so let's try it with abc abc our abc is our new or another user okay so when we click on login as you can see the abc data will be written so in that way you can uh, with the help of uh, this simple code this simple code you can retrieve the particular user's data okay so until now do you have any questions or anything regarding it you can ask or else uh, we are done with the basic things needed for firebase to be covered so i think this will be our last day of uh, webinar okay so if you have any questions or have any issue you can ask i will share the code with you just give me five minutes okay so uh, if you have any query or issues regarding the webinar or any part you want me to repeat you can ask so this is the code link and uh, you will also get the recording link so if your friends have not joined you can share the recording links or uh, does the previous videos are available anywhere yes it is available on our uh, like you can say uh, youtube so it is uh, uploaded on youtube i think uh, the links will be provided like first two or three days links are already provided so currently remaining two two of them so it will be provided to you on to your email okay so how to ensure a specific link in our app is opened in the proper application like for example if there is a twitter link in my app how would i ensure redirect to twitter okay so for that there is a part called explicit intent right so if inside uh, if you are inside your uh, application or android phone if the application is already present then it will automatically uh, go to a particular application like uh, now suppose you asked for a twitter right so in my application i have a button uh, to go to twitter right so when i click on it if the twitter application is already present in my device or in my smartphone it will go to the particular uh, like it go to twitter app but if the twitter is not installed inside my smartphone or application it will go to website so it in that way it works okay so explicit intent is the thing to traverse the, between your another application uh, let me just check okay so sir uh, in antivirus how are suspicious links scanned to check if they are safe or not antivirus okay totally depends on the like uh, website's behavior actually i am not that aware of uh, security part because i am a not a cyber security person but i can just simply say or reference you that uh, like what you can say so links are checked with the domain is uh, verified or not if the domain is verified and the website is legitimate it is good to go and if the suspicion is found like uh, there are sometimes the, like you now suppose uh, our domain is like www.google.com is the clear domain it clearly represents the it is a website of google right 
so but now if you also get the website like uh, www dot dot google one dot xyz okay so this might be suspicious no so like that way it works maybe i don't have complete idea for it uh okay sorry uh, i just told you the wrong intent type actually i'm also confused so there are two types implicit and explicit intent okay so implicit intent will redirect you to another uh, application or another web page right and if uh, you just want to go within your activity or we just used our explicit intent i think it is uh, clear now uh, i can also share you the link for the same so you will get idea how you can implement both things implicit and explicit intent you can just uh, provide the url also or you can just provide the package name if you get the package name or else uh, there is a best part you can use urls for particular web page and for particular all things i think uh, this is clear no any question regarding that or else we will conduct our uh, webinar to be over so all our five days have been successful it cannot be completed without all of you and all the special peoples okay you can ask no worries you can ask i'm here but i would like to thank you all for uh, joining each and every session and also participating in chat box so in that way i will let the know that each and everybody is now trying the basic things in android or interested to learn the android right so yeah it is a great thing to know and android is a such a good part you can easily learn with the help of different tutorials available on youtube the different errors you can solve with the help of stack overflow so it is already available so just you need to start right is there any listener for links like we did click click listener okay so uh, like for particularly i think um, now le uh, let me know what exactly do you want you want to display a link and use when the user click on that particular link you want to open something or you want to open it on your button click Suppose I received a message containing link. I want my app to start when I click on the link in the message. Uh, okay. So basically you can do one thing. Uh, you can make your uh, text view specific part to be a, uh, that what you can say, a particular link. Okay. So I will share one. Uh, reference for you also here is the link for you you can just use the hyperlink part in the text view i think this might help you to solve your uh, problems or overcome your problem or uh, you can say simply you can achieve your thing with the help of this reference okay uh, can we meet sir i want more guidance from you yes we can okay so now you can connect with me on instagram and linkedin also just uh, text me and let me know that uh, i am from the webinar so like now a uh, few of you uh, i can just simply uh, like what you can say i will remember some of you because you are already participated already answered each and every question so, uh, you can connect me on Instagram or uh, LinkedIn also. 
you can search my whole name that is Ajin Kevinrat and you can connect and we will talk and I can solve your problems if you have okay another question is that how we can run app in background if it's removed Sir, can you share the link for how to connect web with Firebase? Yes, it is. Uh, it will be shared with you uh, with the help of your email. So after the completion of this conduction, you will get both links for today's session and for last session. So connection of web, uh, web Firebase also. Like music in play background. Okay, so there are uh, two different things, foreground service and background service. So you can just check what is foreground service and what is background service. Smishing detector. Okay, nice. That's a nice thing. Uh, I will share for the reference for foreground and background service. Uh, Okay, I will just simply share the so here is the link for services so when your application is in background or if it is removed for background how you can uh, run the from some functionalities still so with the help of these services you will get idea or you can just simply go for YouTube tutorial like how we can uh, create a music player that runs in our uh, background in Android Studio. There are lots of tutorial available. If you still not found anything, you can just message me. I will just reply that what you can do. Okay. I think apart from this, uh, anybody have any question or you can just give the reviews of your uh, of our webinar how how would you like it or not it will be helpful for you or not you learn anything new or not like these things okay uh, yes i will share my linkedin profile my linkedin profile did not check linkedin every time but if i have got any message i will definitely check right okay so it is not properly maintained but if uh, you connected with me and have a text i will check are we going to give in a project as you mentioned in the first day okay so i was uh, i was thinking to provide you a task but there is like no facility like uh, task completion phase in our system so what you can do you can just uh, simply select any of your project you want and uh, if you have any issues or uh, query while developing that particular app you can ask me on the social media or linkedin itself and i will help you and definitely it will help you uh, to showcase your skill and also it will be showcase your resume in your resume also uh, thank you for so much coming in this. Thank you so much, uh, Riha. I think I, I'm uh, correct. Yes. Then, uh, sir, first Android development webinar, and from you only I have learned the basic concept. Thank you so much. Informative session. Thank you so much, Bhageshri. Also, I think only like uh, four to five people are uh, only. Uh, I think, uh, like we can say, interactive session with them. Because uh, from the first day, I saw each and every person uh, like you can say like commenting their issues or uh, having or having things done with me. I think, yeah. I think that's it for our uh, this whole webinar. So if you liked this webinar, just uh, 
enjoy your android development within your future you can just enjoy the new projects new different things available in android you can create a whole of, like if you have any idea regarding your uh, anything application you can create you can then publish your app on play store also and if it is successful then you can be successful great right but basically if you just create the applications in different way it will help us or help the recruiter if you want to join any company then let them know that you are worked on android right <laughs> be versus be tech okay so it totally depends on the university there is no like a big difference so i also compared with my fellow friends and all the different uh, institute friends so that like they having uh, btech and i am having v so there is no such a big difference because the subjects are also uh, familiar or similar but few topics are different few uh, units are different like so way but i think there is no such a great difference between them so okay it totally depends on the university uh, where you uh, where you get the btech so uh, now if you doing btech in specialized format then it is great but normally if you are doing btech in like same computer engineering or computer science it will be same as b computer science right so this is the thing okay i think uh, that's it for our today's session i hope you all joined great and have a great fun with me within these five days and i would love to thank you all each and every person in the team as well as uh, you all the participants so yeah thank you so much all of you okay so if we able to make another webinars regarding anything android we can definitely make in future so for now currently uh i think it's time to say goodbye all of you okay bye 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 have a great future ahead for you all okay i will end you can leave also yeah bye all